Hello friends, in this tutorial uh, we are going to solve another uh, problem which is generally asked in an interview or it's uh, <clears throat> uh, you can see this problem frequently when you are in college or just fresh out of college and going for an interview so the problem is uh, write a Java program to check whether a string is palindrome or not so what's palindrome? As the first of all, if I reverse any string, if it remains the same, I <clears throat> then it's a palindrome. For example, if I say nitin, if I reverse this string, it still uh, remains nitin, so it's a palindrome. But if I say raj, if I reverse it, now uh, the string becomes jar, so it's it's not uh, the same, so it's not a palindrome. So, so this is the palindrome. So, as we have discussed, if I reverse the string and compare it, if it's uh, if it's same, if it's the same, then it's a palindrome. Otherwise, it's not. So, uh, one approach is to check whether a string is palindrome or not. Is to reverse a string and compare it with original string. If both are same, then it's a palindrome. Otherwise, it's not. Other, another approach is if we uh, run a loop and compare uh, first character with last and then this one with this one and if <coughs> if it doesn't match then it's not a palindrome otherwise it's a palindrome so let's say if I say uh, let's declare to flag start which initialize it to 0 and n which is string dot length minus one so string is always terminated with special character so we take a string length minus one now if I say while start as less than end and let's take one flag as palindrome and by default we assign true then we check if string dot caret start is not equal to string dot caret and then what we do we set is palindrome to false and break the loop so how how does it work so we have net then as a string so initial we have a start with zero and end with and with five minus one it's four so now uh, uh, this uh, the condition of this loop so end is greater than start so yes four is greater than zero value then it compares whether a string at zero character at zero position n is not equal to this character uh, the character which is present at last so definitely it is equal so uh, this condition won't run then what we do is we increment start index to one and decrement end index to one so that a uh, start will then point to this position and end, uh, end flag will decrement and uh, started position to this I mean in next iteration the value of start will be 1 and end will be 3 so at index 1 it's i at index 3 it's i so both are seen so still uh, it's not I mean uh, this if condition will not execute now in next iteration start will become 2 and end will become 2 so is is end is the, is the end flag greater than a start no so this condition won't uh, this loop won't execute I mean so the condition is not satisfied so here we print if if it's I mean if it's palindrome then just print 
system dot out dot print in a parameter. Otherwise, system dot out dot print in a not a parameter. So if I run a program, you can see the output is parameter. So if I say I'll let's write some gibberish or string, let's say this one. So you can see it if I reverse this string, it's not a palindrome. So if I run this code, say it's not a palindrome. So so this is the uh, logic. Uh, to check whether a string is palindrome or not. So I prefer instead of reversing in a string and then compare it, uh, compare with original string, I use this uh, logic to check whether a string is uh, palindrome or uh, not. So uh, for more such video tutorial, you can subscribe our YouTube channel or you can visit our website, which is fabrewrite.com. And thanks for watching this video.